The Young and the Restless Monday, July 1 Spoilers Jack's Heartbreaking Confession, Dan Pushes Husband to Nikki. Sally and Billy's Bedroom Vengeance, Swish After Adam and Chelsea Go Too Far. Michael Mueller Predicts Kyle's Wild Lift with Audra. What's Ahead as Brace Plays Dirty. Greetings to all Young and the Restless fans. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates. The Young and the Restless Monday, July 1 Spoilers Jack's Heartbreaking Confession, Dan Pushes Husband to Nikki. The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Monday, July 1, reveal that Jack Abbott will have a lot on his mind when he joins Nikki Newman at the GCAC. Nikki will smell that Jack isn't doing well, so she'll naturally ask questions and want to support him. After Jack makes a heartbreaking concession about everything that's tearing him piecemeal, Nikki will push him to open up and deed more. Jack and Nikki have the kind of relationship where they can go deeper, so she'll invite him to lean on her. When Nikki was going through her sobriety struggles, Jack was always there with a sympathetic observance and some advice. Now it'll be Nikki's turn to be a source of comfort and guidance for Jack in return. Between Ashley Abbott's fire and all the conflict that just went down with Kyle Abbott, Jack will have good reasons to be distraught. Jack will be especially concerned about Kyle's shattered relationship with Diane Jenkins, Abbott now that she fired their son from Jabot. Kyle feels like Jack took Diane's side, but Jack really wanted a concession and a path that would lead to peace. Now the whole situation is a mess, so youthful and the restless spoilers say Jack will give Nikki updates on all his delicate news. Nikki could end up condemning Diane on some position and try to steer Jack toward condemning her too. Whatever the case, Diane's decision to give Kyle the charge will inadvertently push Jack in Nikki's direction. That could lead to further trouble than Diane bargained for, so stick with us for other prognostications on Nikki and Jack's strengthening connection. Of course, Nikki may grow decreasingly suspicious of Victor Newman's motives, especially if she discovers Kyle and Audra Charles Arico running Glissade together. It presumably won't take Nikki long to realize Victor is creating some competition that could rise up against Jabo so she should have some harsh words for her hubby soon enough. In Baltimore, Chelsea Lawson and Adam Newman will grow closer behind unrestricted doors. In fact, Adam and Chelsea are gearing up for an interdicted kiss that could lead to association at some point during the week of July 1-5. to The young and the restless spoilers say Sally Spectra and Billy Abbott are about to get cheated on, so do not miss all the action. The young and the restless spoilers Sally and Billy's bedroom vengeance, swish after Adam and Chelsea go too far. The Young and the Restless spoilers reveal that Adam Newman and Chelsea Lawson will remain in Parlous home since they'll be stuck at the same hostel in Baltimore for a while. Chelsea and Adam will inescapably grow closer since they could be staying up to two weeks for Connor Newman to be moved from outpatient status. Since the show's given Adam and Chelsea a lovely hostel suite set, it seems likely they'll use it to hook ultimately. Still, it's only a matter of time until Sally Spectra and Billy Abbott end out, if that happens. Backstabbings know they stay under wraps for long, so Billy and Sally may end up reeling over cheating news sooner or laterally. It's intriguing that the show had Sally and Billy connect a bit more in the June 27 occasion. Is there a reason why Young and the Restless wants Billy and Sally to start relating? It couldn't be to inch Sally and Billy toward a hot association of their own. After all, Billy and Sally will earn a good cure of vengeance if their current mates cheat on them. It's easy to imagine Sally and Billy sleeping together in the fate of Adam and Chelsea hitting the waist. It could be a way for Billy and Sally to console each other, but it could also be a way to stick it to Chelsea and Adam. Sally and Billy have not participated a ton of scenes over the times, but the shows had some chemistry tests then and there. Billy and Sally would make enough hot brace if you ask us, so perhaps Youthful and the Restless will eventually let them sizzle. That doesn't inescapably mean Sally and Billy will protest off some beautiful love story. It could be as simple as a night of passion to get back at Adam and Chelsea while soothing their broken hearts. It's true that Chelsea and Adam are going through a lot asco parents right now, but that won't vindicate them of blame if they go too far at the hostel. Adam and Chelsea are still in charge of their own opinions and conduct, so they'll have to face whatever consequences might be brewing. The Young and the Restless spoilers say some romantic messes are coming up on the CBS Cleaner, so stick with us for further treason prognostications and updates on any revengeful moves. The Young and the Restless spoilers recap for Friday, June 28, reveals that Mariah Copeland will knock on the door of the cabin and let herself in when Sharon Newman doesn't answer her. Sharon will be sitting there gaping off into space, so it all weird Mariah out. After Sharon admits she did not hear Mariah come in, 
She'll zone out during a story about area porter Copeland as well. Mariah will wonder if Sharon's feeling up, but Sharon will act like she's just attracted by work. When Mariah offers up some of Aria's artwork, Sharon will feel fixated on the art Cassie Newman just to make and will zone out formerly again. Mariah will eventually decide Sharon needs some son and grandma time, so she'll drag Sharon to join her for lunch in the Demand with Aria and Tessa Porter. Sharon will enjoy tromping Aria around, but she'll feel like her mind's wandering again laterally. Mariah will ask for stories about when Cassie was little, but Sharon won't feel like she can concentrate enough to really talk. After Sharon leaves, both Mariah and Tessa will agree that she's not acting like herself. Once Sharon returns to the cabin, she'll get her croaker on the phone and admit she thinks commodity's wrong with her new meds since she feels so odd. Kyle Abbott will also meet with Audra Charles, who will admit she's late because she had to check with Victor Newman and make sure Kyle's news was legal. Although Audra and Kyle will admit the lack of trust between them, Kyle will still suppose they could make a good platoon and will suggest rolling the bones. Audra will point out that Glissade will be Jabot's contender, but Kyle will be agitated about going up against them. There will be some questions about Victor's motives, but Kyle and Audra will feel set to rise to the challenge together. Audra and Kyle will meet in the Demen originally, but they all continue talking at the GCAC laterally. Yander spoilers say Summer Newman will spot Kyle of Audra and shoot a dirty look their way. After Summer process, Sally Spectra and Chloe Mitchell, Chloe will stop herself from being pushy and will try to get on Summer's good side. Summer will act like there's no need for Chloe to kiss up to her since she's made her decision. Chloe will assume she's not coming back on board at Marchetti, but Summer will surprise Chloe by giving her alternate chance. Once Kyle leaves, Summer will stop Audra as she heads for the exit. That'll give Summer an occasion to calf Audra about what's going on with Kyle, but Audra will act like it's none of Summer's business. At Jabo, Diane Jenkins, Abbott and Jack Abbott will remain distraught over how effects went down with Kyle. Jack will also struggle over the idea of filling Kyle's position and maybe hiring someone in the lab on an interim base to replace Ashley Abbott. Although Jack will detest that there aren't as numerous Abbots at the company these days, Diane will give him a vim talk. After talking with Audra, Kyle will arrive to clean out his office and drop some hints about his new job. Kyle will act like perhaps Diane did him a favor, and after Kyle's gone, Deanne will tell Jack that perhaps it's good for Kyle to find nearly he feels like he belongs. Jack will just wish Kyle felt like he belonged at Jabot, but Diane will still have high expedience for the future of the company. At Crimson Lights, Faith Newman will have coffee with Lucy Romilotti, who will gush over how important Fun Council looks and will wonder if Faith's part of a sorority. Faith will admit she isn't and will note that she doesn't drink moreover, so Lucy will find that strange. Once Faith admits she nearly failed the last time she drank, she'll partake the story of her accident to explain why she's not interested in booze. Although Faith will have to leave before they get into the hijacking story that Lucy really wanted, they'll bandy meeting up for another converse eventually. The young and the restless spoilers say Lucy could land in some trouble down the road, so we'll bring you prognostications on the peril and updates on whether Faith will get dragged into it. Thanks for watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.